morning you guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to do a what i eat in a day so i'm gonna take you guys along show you guys what i eat what i make if you're new here welcome my name is kim and if you're not welcome back okay so it's nine o'clock in the morning we're actually oh it's a little blurry there we go we're actually going to start dinner right now because we are making a pot roast in the crock pot so just a couple of things that um, I have here. I have a huge chuck roast. This was $30, um, but there were like other ones that were cheaper, but this one just looked really big and nice and juicy. So I got a huge chuck roast, um, onion, fresh thyme, carrots, beef broth. This is what I use to make it. And then this is not keto friendly, but I'm going to throw potatoes in there because my family likes potatoes. But when I eat the pot roast, I do not eat the potatoes. Uh, so yeah, let's start. So I've washed all of my veggies. So we're gonna throw potatoes, onions, and carrots in here. I'm also gonna season. And then we're gonna throw our seared chuck roast right in there like that. Um, fresh thyme. We're gonna throw in one packet. And then we're gonna throw about a cup of beef broth. And then just one more packet of this. All right, so it looks like this. I have it on low. By the way, I am not a Colts fan. Jamal is, I'm a Steelers fan, but this is the only crock pot we have. But if you are a Colts fan, leave a comment, and let me know. I'm sure Jamal will be so, so happy. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, this is what it looks like. We're gonna put the, we're gonna put this right on top, and I am going to secure it. I know you guys said I don't have to do that, but I'm gonna secure it. And on low, it's almost 10, so we're gonna probably leave this in here for about eight hours. So around five or six, this should be done. Okay guys, it's breakfast time. It's 12 o'clock and I already know you guys are gonna be like, again, Kim, why? Why are you making this again? And yes, I am making my fluffy scramble, I can't talk, fluffy scrambled eggs in a wrap again because it's just so good. So I'll fast forward this part and um, yeah, because I know you guys are sick of it. I've already eaten it like five times this week. So, but I, seriously guys, it's like my favorite thing. It's so good. Look, who wants to say hi? Hi. See, I'm almost one years old. See, I have a fever, so I'm home with mommy today. Yeah, I have a little fever. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah, let's make my burrito. Okay guys, nothing special over here. Have a crying baby, but we're gonna have some breakfast. So we're going to make our own coffee this morning. We're gonna be using this Keto Collagen from Perfect Keto. Yes, I am reusing a venti Starbucks cup. <laughs> so we're just gonna be using unsweetened cold brew that I get from the grocery store. And then we're gonna use about a tablespoon of this sweet cream creamer from Chobani. One tablespoon has about four grams of carbs, so just be very mindful. I then am going to add one scoop of this perfect keto collagen and if you guys don't use collagen or don't have electrolytes or MCT oil guys, 
Perfect Keto is having a huge Black Friday sale. It starts today and it ends Sunday, November 27th. You'll get up to 50% off of everything plus free shipping. There is no minimum. So if you get one item, you'll get 15% off. Two items, you'll get 20% off. Three to four items, you'll get 30% off and so on. And you don't need a code discount will be applied at checkout so head over to perfect keto get your collagen get your mct oils get your daily electrolytes they have so so many great things on perfectketo.com if you are on keto it will definitely help you with your weight loss journey and your keto lifestyle so for lunch today guys, this is one of those little chicken snack things from um, Costco. I'm just going to grill these up a little bit and try to make them um, like Chick-fil-A nuggets and then I have Chick-fil-A sauce. So yeah, we'll just do that for a quick lunch today. We're gonna have zesty buffalo and ranch sauce. So this is gonna be my little quick lunch. Oh, look at that, you guys. The meat is just so tender. It's like breaking apart. Mmm. Okay guys, here is dinner. Literally just carrots and the meat. I'm gonna add some hot sauce. Hi guys, chocolate coin. Where is your shirt at, sir? Uh, I was playing wrestling and it was upstairs. Daddy. And I'm gonna add a few of these in here also. I think this is what people use when they make um, the Mississippi pot roast. I could be wrong, I don't know. But this is, I think, what that is, so. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel today. Today is a very cold day in Pittsburgh. I have my huge coat on, um, but I'm gonna take you guys along with me today and show you guys what I eat. Right now, I am just so happy with where I am with my weight and my body and how I feel and how I look. And even though I'm not at my like goal yet before my trip, I am just already like so happy. So we're gonna continue it and we're gonna reach our goals. We're gonna do it day by day, take it, you know, one day at a time. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna show you guys what I eat to help me reach my goals. Okay, so we're starting the day off with Starbucks. Um, it's obviously not sweet. Well, you guys don't even know what I got. Let me show you guys what I got. I will put it on the screen here, my mobile order. Um, but it's a tall Starbucks cold brew coffee, a splash of heavy cream, and two pumps of sugar-free vanilla syrup. And it came with $3.95, which is much cheaper than before. So my app says there's only five calories, but there's probably like 10 or 15 because I added um, the heavy cream. It's okay. I mean, it's definitely not a vanilla sweet cream cold brew, so it's not as sweet, but this will do. Um, the coffee will help me stay full until about noon, so we're still intermittent fasting as usual, so we're going to drink the coffee, and then usually like around 12.30 or 1, I'll have my first meal of the day and break my fast. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go get gas now, and yeah okay so it's about 12 o'clock jamal is actually going to make me breakfast today and it is my usual that i have been eating literally every single day for like two weeks i know you guys are sick and tired of it but it's literally what i eat and it's so so freaking good but today jamal is gonna make it for me so we shall see if his is still better 
than mine because I've mastered it and I think mine is delicious, but we'll see. But I'm gonna spice it up a little bit. I'm gonna throw some of these uh, sausage crumbles into the scrambled eggs. Hopefully that doesn't alter the fluffiness. But, okay, I'm gonna put the camera on Jamal now. TV is press it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how I make my eggs. This is a uh, whip game at its finest. Whip game. Okay guys, this is my little breakfast bowl here filled with lots and lots of protein. So basically we scrambled eggs, added cheese, I added red onion because I love, love, love onions and the sausage crumbles. So you could probably add so much more to this, but this is just all I have. Um, so yeah, I'm going to enjoy breakfast. I have a little bit of coffee left. So this is breakfast. Okay, so we're gonna get ready to get some salad for the family. You know, yeah. so <clears throat> let me wash this. I've already washed my hands. Let me wash the salad. Okay, so we got a little bit of salad here. A little spring mix. A little spring mix. Washed. We got a little bit of a little bit of cheese we sprinkle on it. Michael really doesn't like cheese, so I'm not gonna give him too much. Okay. And then these are from these little chicken breast bites are already cooked from Costco. These things are great actually. It's a, you know, you can just cut it open and easily just pour it right in the salad. Boom. Easily. Then just got a couple little crumbles of bacon. Yeah, little crumbles of bacon there. Just put it on there. And then for for Kim's, she has this um, organic lemon olive oil dressing. This is great. Uh, very tasty. Real flavorful. Good on the salad. I'm gonna put this on hers, but Mike doesn't want his. We'll throw this on Micah's. He likes the country French Ken's dressing. So I think that's about it. Easy, uh, easy little dinner. A little snack. Okay, guys, for dinner tonight, I grabbed a rotisserie chicken for $7.99. Maybe I'll make some broccoli. I don't know, we'll see. But I love rotisserie chicken. It is such a good um, way to eat chicken. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna roast some broccoli in the air fryer. I'm just gonna throw a little bit of olive oil 
and I have some new seasoning. This is Dano's seasoning. It's low sodium, zero calories, replaces your salt and pepper. You can use it on meat, veggies, whatever you want. So we're just gonna throw just this on. Give this a shake. 380 for 10 minutes. Broccoli's done, you guys. I already taste one, and this seasoning is so, so, so good. Mmm. So, again, I'll show you guys. <laughs> it's Dano's. What? What is it? I'm trying to show them the seasoning. It's Dano's seasoning. <laughs> And there was only two. There was this one and then a spicy one. I grabbed this one, but so, so good. Okay, guys, this is my really quick and simple low carb dinner. Hi. We're gonna add some hot sauce. And then I have my roasted broccoli here. And so, yeah, this is dinner from my rotisserie chicken and broccoli. Good morning guys, I'm a little busy today so I'm gonna have one of these egg wraps, throw it in the microwave and take it with me to go. I got this at Giant Eagle which is our local grocery store and this is actually my first time having one of these. They're breakfast wraps but they're wrapped with eggs. There's 17 grams of protein, five grams of total carbs, gluten-free, and only 200 calories. So let me just check the net carbs. Okay, so yeah, there's five carbs. So anyway, let me throw this in the microwave. So this is what it looks like frozen. The instructions say to remove egg wrap from plastic wrap, wrap in a dry paper towel and place on a microwave safe plate for one minute and 20 seconds. We're gonna split this. Okay, so just like that. Okay guys, I just cut it really quick, but it's just filled with cheese, ham, turkey sausage, um, and that's it. So I'm actually gonna throw it in this little bag and then we're gonna run out the door. And then we're gonna have a protein shake too. So lots and lots of protein this morning, guys. All right guys, this is my lunch. I have a side salad here with my Lighthouse Homestyle Ranch. And then I made a taco with the low carb tortilla. This is the sun-dried tomato basil, but this is going to be my quick, quick lunch. All right, we're gonna use some of this Lighthouse Ranch. Ranch. So I was debating whether I should have made uh, buffalo chicken pizza or barbecue chicken pizza. I chose buffalo. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of bacon bits. Mozzarella cheese. my chicken a little more cheese a little bit more bacon and just a little bit of Italian seasoning okay and so this is gonna go into the air fryer for about 
10 minutes. So thick. Okay, let's go. All right, guys. Buffalo chicken pizza all done. I'm actually gonna add some fresh premium basil right on top. Because fresh basil on pizza is the best. Mm. All right, guys, buffalo chicken pizza, low carb, keto friendly, out of the air fryer, fresh basil on top. But I just want to show you guys, it's pretty thick, and the bottom is pretty crunchy and hard. Oh my goodness! So let's have dinner. Okay, guys. Pizza is so, so good. It's so crunchy. I'm gonna dip it in a little bit more ranch. Mm. That fresh basil, so, so good. No! <laughs> okay, let's, we're gonna eat our dinner and then, yeah. Okay guys, I took a shower. I am cleaning the kitchen now, but I'm gonna end this video here. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Whoa.